Good morning, good afternoon, good night. Welcome back to another Ski Moscow video. We are going to be looking at the PM session for Wednesday, the 16th of August. PM Silver Bullet session. So that's from 2 o'clock till 3 o'clock would be our entry. And we're going to look at market structure shifts. Um, we're going to be looking at fair value gaps, inversion fair value gaps, and reading order flow. Let's get into it. So first of all, I started by marking up the buy and sell side liquidity for the session. So when buy or sell side liquidity is taken, I want to be looking at fair value gaps and inversion fair value gaps inside that range after it's been taken. So I'm looking at after buy side is taken, I'm immediately going to where's the first subby right there. I missed one actually. And is this now going to be a reversal or continuation? And I get that from breaker structure and the respect or neglect of fair value gaps. Here, first fair value gap gets respected. Massive drop down. Another fair value gap gets respected. And usually the first one would be the area I'm looking at as as a directional bias and then the second one would be the entry so yeah the first fair value gap down gets respected bodies don't close above and the second one inside here gets respected bodies don't close above and that would be my entry but this is two minutes outside our silver bullet time so i can't accept that And then we've got down here, we've got the inversion fair value gap, one minute. This is everything I'm doing now is going to be on the one minute chart. So we've got the perfection with the fair value gap attached, fair value gap attached. So we're looking for cells in this area after this low is being taken. Right there, that low is taken. Never gets back into that area until later on when market structure actually shifts. Ooh, 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 ooh. And liquidity is taken out. So inside the next one is another inversion fair value gap. One minute. Perfection. Or fair value gap attached. Closes just a bit above it, but doesn't get into this candle low. Or it's open price, sorry. So it's still that would still be acceptable. You could go short here. Stop would be above this high. And since it took out buy side already, just adding another entry. So you're going short inside here. Stop would be above the high, but now there's a, there's a subby right where our stop would be. So we put it above the high of that candle. I created that subby. And our take profit would be below the sell side for the lunch session. So it would be a two to one, potential two to one very early on. After the sell side is taken, since buy side was taken, the sell side was taken, and just taken really quickly, we're just gonna look for like a whoopsaw moves. So then sell side's taken, I would have taken the trade off. And then wait for either confirmation down or a re-entry. So confirmation that it's going to be continuing down and looking for re-entry or a reason for it to be going higher and then looking for entries to go long. I don't know what's going on with my laptop today. Um, so yeah, to got sell side, lunch sell side taken. That to be our target. 
creates a new free value gap, respects that free value gap. In the next free value gap, it goes into, comes back into that. I would have entered right there. Stop below the low of the free value gap, 21 point stop. And my target, I've actually realized now that a lot of times when you're looking at using the institutional swing points as projections, as projections, we make use of the first fair value gap. The first fair value gap. When price makes a swing low or swing high inside that fair value gap, we use that range of that swing high or swing low up to the first. Let me say that again. We use that price swing or the range of that first fair value gap. The swing that's made inside the first fair value gap inside after liquidity is taken or a new range gets created you're looking at the first fair value gap and you explain ex projecting the fib on that from the low up to the first swing high if you're looking for buys From, sorry, from the low down to the previous swing high. If you're looking for buys, and it will give, give you a projection upward, a negative projection upward to negative four. You change your FIB settings to make sure it's on negative four, and that would be your target. If the risk reward model doesn't give at least two to one, don't take the trade. So inside here it gave 2 to 1. I could tighten the stop but then I'd, I'd risk getting stopped out for higher or multiple but I wouldn't risk it on a day like this. Then we've got after that's taken, 4 standard deviation. See we get the top of the market and you don't want to be picking tops and bottoms even though I can show it now as a in a market review. It's quite difficult to do it live and it's just easier just to take the meat off the bone like this area. You can go away with 30, 30 points, 20 points stop. Oh, sorry. With like 56 points or 18 points stop or 40 points with a 20 points stop. Perfectly reasonable. As long as your, your risk management management is in place you have nothing to fear and there's no need to be greedy because this moves happen every single day like clockwork like clockwork happens every single day and now you see it takes out lunch buy side again it takes out lunch buy side right there still continues higher takes out this high is made after continues higher one two three swings and then now it goes lower so this three drives pattern first drive second drive third drive so third swing high you could actually take the profits off here if your target was further on that would be what 79 about five let's see difference five ten points difference so that would be 21 for 36 because now you saw that there's three dives higher just close it it's, it's okay come back tomorrow and we'll, we'll do it all again creates a break of structure no fair value gaps yet. No fair value gap, no fair value gap, no fair value gap. Inside here, first fair value gap. First one goes here. And 
and then second one occurs inside here and that's the one that creates a breaker structure so this whole swing from the swing high down to the swing low just like we did here previously from the swing low to the swing high but there was no real swing high to the left of it maybe over here this would be the first swing high yeah then we, wouldn't, we wouldn't have actually taken of it but for argument's sake that's where our projection was so the first swing low So the swing low inside the Fair Valley Gap up to the first swing high. Yeah, that's the first swing low, sw first swing high up to the Fair Valley Gap, and the last swing low using that projection and using four standard deviations. Come down here, that would be the target. You can see the market, it's hit that target. And then you're entering on the second fair value gap. So right here is a fair value gap. Doesn't get filled. Doesn't get filled. This one gets filled. Right inside there. You could use a really tight stop with this. Like right above the candle that made the swing eye. But I would actually just use this one. Because it's already came into that fair value gap. I'd use this candle. As a stop loss. It's already came into this fair valley gap, so there's no reason for it to come back. Created a balanced price range. So 16 points for 89. 1 to 5 R. That would be 2 R. 2.5 R, which could have gotten us stopped out. So I'll just take that as a stop out. Two R, so it's one R, and then another five R. So you'd be up six R. If you trade perfectly using this model. I thank you guys. Like the video, comment, subscribe. Um I'm thinking of creating a course just around this and how to look at this every situation if you guys would find that insightful please leave a like um, and comment down below cheers